Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 0. In the last session we have been attempting to do the main quest but we haven't really been doing any main quests. We have been getting uh, sucked into a bunch of sub stories which have been very interesting. We've had uh, one about school kids selling their underwear. Hmm. And then we walked around a corner and got another one with a dominatrix. Hmm. <laughs> so, very, uh, very interesting stuff that they've got going on here. I was not expecting the direction some of these sub-stories have taken. <laughs> that is for sure. Uh, so, we will continue coming across those, I'm sure, and we will do them as we come across them for the most part. Uh, unless I'm really, like, desperately needing to get to the next main story beat. But I have, uh, I've asked people and it sounds like people do want to see me uh, do most of the sub-stories, and so most of the sub-stories we shall do. Uh, right, so we are looking to head down here to Public Park 3, so I want to do a big old 180 and uh, just keep going for a bit. Uh, we need to be on the lookout for Mr. Shakedown. Whoa. Sure. Let's, uh, let's get back into it. Why am I in that style? Lol. Nice. Been a couple of days since I uh, since I played, but it seems like I still have a basic understanding. <laughs> I always worry. Every time I haven't played a game for a couple of days, I'm always like, do I remember how to play this? <laughs> if only I had time to play every day. Wouldn't that be nice? Right, I need to go left and then right. Just down here. Oh my goodness, we're actually going to make it to a main quest. It's incredible. Oh, it's this place. I've saved here a bunch. I think I've beaten these guys up before, actually. <laughs> Hello. Sorry about beating you up. Do you want to, uh, do you want to help me? Oh, it's a bonus point. Looks like these are the homeless guys Tachibana employed. Hello. さけでも入れりゃ滑らかに喋れるってもんだ。あんた話聞き手ってんなら突っ走り酒を都合してきてくんねえかな。ああ、そいつありがたいね。随分流暢に喋ってるように聞こえるが。ラメラメ。連ね
Sweet potato show. Choose the only one worth drinking. You, you one of those kids who only drinks beer. You've got to expand your horizons. I don't need to hear any more. A few different convenience stores. Someone's bound to have sweet potato show you. Okay, let me just check. Is this going into a mission log at all? Uh, I don't even have a main mission log, do I? <laughs> so, I guess I have to write this down myself. Like, it just says at the bottom, I need to bring the booze back to these guys. Okay, I am going to write it down myself. So, apologies for the brief pauses as I open my notes app. Okay, uh, beer... Sweet potato shochu uh, from convenience stores. I don't know if they'll all be convenience stores, but that guy, they said specifically for that one, so I'll write that down. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, didn't expect a free drink. Uh, a whiskey hound. Got it. Uh, a scotch. Specifically a scotch. Okay. Scotch, and is it going to tell me where that comes from? Uh, convenience stores, okay, that's the same. And then you. Champagne, alright. Christmas, it is that time of year. Champagne, okay, that's a specific place. Let me write that down. Champagne at Don Quixote. Okay, and uh, lastly, this bro. Uh, sake. Uh, that's more than I can promise, is it? Room temperature works. Convenience stores. Okay. Do I even have uh, inventory space for this? Am I going to have to get rid of some of my healing items? Uh, oh, I do in fact have five slots. Well, there we go. Okay, so... Beer, shochu, scotch, and sake can all be got from convenience stores, but champagne specifically needs a place called Don Quixote, which I have no idea what that is. So let's, I guess, have a little look-see. Uh, boop -a -doo. I assume it's one of these, like, ones that are specifically... Ah, there it is. Discount store with many items. Alright, so we head out of here, we go right, right, down to the end. I, I guess we'll go there first and see what else it has there. Get everything we can from Don Quixote. Yeah, alright, mate. <laughs> One punch! Nice. I guess I should actually, uh, heal. I hadn't noticed my health was pretty low, so why not, hey? Uh... A little health boost? Sure. How much is a little? Yeah, it's fine. Right, it was right, wasn't it? Ping! <sighs> Oh, hang on. Do you get into it up here? Uh, wait, maybe not. <laughs> How do you get into this? Hello? He's stuck on the bollards. Hmm? What's this line for? It could be something serious. Oh, well. <laughs> it's been real good doing some main quests today, folks. But now it's time for a sub-story. 
Oi. What's going on? Why are all these people here? Did you want one too? I'm really sorry, but they said I'll get the last one in stock. What are you talking about? Huh? Aren't you lining up for Ara Q3? Aura Q3? Is that some kind of secret code? Nah, it's Ara Q3, the newest game in the Ara Cure series. Ara Q3 is short for Ara Cure 3, quest for the Quantum Quill. I can't wait to read the instruction manual on the way home. Hmm. Hmm. Never heard of it. So people are actually lining up to buy a video game. What an amazing world we live in. <laughs> yeah. It's the most popular game in Japan right now. I went looking for it with Papa, but they were sold out everywhere. But then my friend told me this place was getting a new batch today, so I grabbed my allowance and ran all the way here. I made it just in time and got the last reservation ticket. I'm so happy. It's going to be the best game ever made. Times are strange if it's this hard to buy a toy. Sorry to bug you, kid. Thanks for the info. Mm. Yup. Bye, mister. I snuck off from work for this. If my manager finds out before I get back, I am so dead. No cutting in line, pal. You have to play by the rules and get in the back like everyone else. I'm so glad I lined up first thing this morning. I'm going to be the first to get it. Alright. Uh... I spoke to everyone. Can you show me what you have? Show me what you got. I like what you got. Legendary drinker of Ryukyu. <laughs> uh, okay, hang on. I... What was... What do I need? Sweet potato shoju. Is that anything that's here? Okay, well, he didn't care what beer he got, right? He just wanted any beer, so that'd work for the first dude. So we'll get a beer. Oh, fuck. I always forget you do it all at once. Um, you just, yeah. You just up the number and then keep going until you've got everything and then you click buy. Okay, so the other guy wanted champagne. That was only available here. Gold champagne. Uh... Okay, a whole bunch of car stuff. Okay, so that was everything I can get from here. We got the beer. We got the champagne. We still need the shochu, the scotch, and the sake from convenience stores. Okay. Now, is there anyone else to talk to in here about this substory? No. Okay, so what am I actually doing about this substory then? I'm pretty sure it just said talk to everyone, and I did. And then it didn't progress. Do I have to talk to the kid at the back again? Oh, wait, everyone's gone. Oh, wait, hang on. There's an exclamation mark here now. I see. Isn't that... <laughs> Heh, game over, loser. Oi. Oh, he stole it. You motherfucker. Hey, you're the kid who was lined up for that game, right? Did you manage to get it? Oh, mister. What's the matter? Something wrong? Mm, yes. My brand new video game, that guy stole it. Nani? Nani. Wait, you mean that high school kid who just left? I'm going to go and fucking murder him. Uh-huh. He just ran up and yelled at me to hand it over. He took it, my Q 3. I spent all morning waiting in line, too. I saved up my allowance for a really, really long time to get it, and now it's gone. Stealing from a little boy? That's really low. Oi. Hey, kid. What's your name? It's... it's... I... Akio. Akio, got it. Hang tight, Akio. I'll get your game back. Huh? You will? So, there's no need to cry. M Mister. Mm. Okay, I won't cry anymore. <laughs> Good. 
That's showing some spine, little man. I like that. Leave it to me. Yay! Thank you, mister. That high school delinquent ran off toward Pink Street with Akio's Arakure game. Pink Street. Is that... Oh, it's got a exclamation mark. Love to see it! Come back here, you fuck. <sighs> Isn't that... <laughs> Later, freak. Wait, has he got... <laughs> oh, God. Is this a wild goose chase where every time we catch up, someone else steals it from the previous thief? <sighs> no fair. I've been defeated. No doubt about it. That's the kid who took Akio's game. Boy. Hey, you. You have that Arakyo game, don't you? Huh? What's it to you? My adventure just came to an abrupt end, so leave me alone. Yeah. No can do. I'll take back that Arakure you took from Akio. Arakure 3? That's the last thing I want to hear about right now. Forget it. I'm going to grind your ass just for the experience. You're going to... You're going to do what on my ass? The menacing man? I, I don't know if I'd call a fucking little bitch high schooler a menacing man. Yeah, no, in fact, I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> Mister. Akio, I just caught the guy who took your Arakyo. Oh, yay. Okay, give Akio his Arakyo back. Look, man, I don't have it. Give it up already. If you don't want another beating, hand it over and get a job next time you want a video game. I told you, I don't have it. I got robbed by a better thief than me. Nanny? Nanny? You were robbed too? Yeah. This jerk from a street gang busted out his dagger of stealing and made me give it to him. Mm. A gang member? You mean that guy who was just here? <sighs> yeah, lame. I could be home leveling up, but now my Q 3 is probably going to some dude who's not even a fan. Uh? Excuse me? Your Q 3 that Arakure wasn't yours. You rob a little kid, then turn around and cry like a baby when you get mugged? How pathetic is that? If you haven't learned your lesson yet, you want another class. Ack, no! I'm already out of lives. Sorry, man, I'm out of here. <sighs> My Arakure 3. <laughs> Don't worry, Akio. I'll get it back for you. I promise. Mister, <laughs> okay. Got it. So the kid who stole that has been stolen by some thug. Had it stolen by some thug. And that guy went off towards Tai Hai Boulevard East. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Where is this wild goose chase going to lead next? Isn't that... <laughs> Fuck off. God damn it. Fucking low-level Yakuza took it, and then we're going to catch up with him, and a high-level Yakuza is going to take it. Oh, my God. <sighs> Damn it. No doubt about it. That's the thug. <laughs> Motherfucker, please, gear you. Please. You're smarter than this. You've just watched it get robbed twice, and now you've seen it a third time. And you're still not catching on with what's going on here? Wait. Fuck me. You're the guy who stole the thing. Uh. Who the hell's Akio? So what if I did? I saw my chance and I took it. That was Akio yeah. then? No. You robbed the kid who robbed Akio of his Arakyo. Uh. I don't get it. Forget it. Just give back that Arakyo cartridge you stole. Arakyo 3? Arakyo 3? I don't want to hear another word about Arakyo 3. I'm going to stomp you flat, Pops. I'm trying to notice when the little, uh, the little Y flame symbol comes up. 
Because people were saying it came up a bunch in the boss fight against Kuze, and I never noticed it a single time. So I'm trying to <laughs> trying to look for it. Grr, shit. Looks like I'm the one who got stumped. Mister. <laughs> hey, Akio. I just caught the wannabe punk who stole your Ara Q3 from that nerdy high school kid. Uh, okay. I don't get it, but that's great. <laughs> All right, give Akio his Ara Cure. Sorry, pal, but your game got pinched. I'm not playing around. Give the kid his game, or you can suffer some more. I'm serious. It's really gone. Some a-hole got the jump on me. Nani? Nani? You were robbed too? Uh... Uh, yeah. This hard-ass Yakuza type held me at gunpoint, forced me to give it to him, then took off. Mm. Yakuza type? You mean that guy who was just here? <sighs> uh-huh. What a shitty day I'm having. That Yakuza guy jacked my Ara Q3 and he's probably not even a fan. Uh. Your Ara Q3? That game wasn't yours to begin with. Deja vu, I've just been in this place before. You steal from a kid, then cry like a li- <laughs> This is literally the same. <laughs> I'm seeing a pathetic pattern here. If this isn't getting through to you, how about we go another round? Wah! No, I'm good. <sighs> my Ara Q3? <laughs> Don't worry, Akio. I promise, I'll hunt it down for you. Yeah. Mister, okay, got it. So the thug who took Akio's Ara Q3 from the kid who stole it in the first place ended up having it taken by some hard-ass Yakuza who went off towards Taihei Boulevard. My head hurts. <laughs> oh, boy. Get fucked. Okay, um... Up here. Hang on, is this a convenience store? No, that's a beef bar. Where is the convenience store? That's a drug store. Shrine. Because I do need... I still need to get to a convenience store. Okay, there's one. Yeah, cool. I guess let's save... Uh, or not. <laughs> uh, 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 you're finally mine, Ara Q3. My quest is complete. Oh my god, is he actually not going to get stolen from? Thank fuck. Hey, that game you got there. What's that, fool? You one of the losers who couldn't score an Ara Q3? That's some tough luck. For you see, this Ara Cure belongs to us. <laughs> so if you want to live, get off my street. And listen, don't bother looking for a place that's still selling Ara Q3. Just find a fool who bought one and take it. <sighs> Villains, every last one. What's this world coming to? Huh? Bah? What do you say, boy? That Ara Cure, I'm taking it back. What's that? Take it back? Don't act like it was your game to start with. <laughs> uh? Shut up. It's complicated. Oh, I see. You're an Ara Q3 Hunter 2 then. Playtime is over. I'm not holding back either. Welcome to your doom. Mate, you brought a gun to a fist fight, you moron. <laughs> Bro does not want to get grabbed. Oh my god, what the fuck? Maybe the gun is mightier than the fist. No, this cannot be. I'll be taking the Ara Q3 with me. Hold on, please. I need that. Give it back, come on. Give it back? 
this was never yours to begin with. Fella, I'm begging you. I'm begging, begging you. My little boy has really been looking forward to playing it. Your son? Don't tell me that this is the fucking dad of the original kid. Uh, yeah. My old lady left me and took the boy with her. He's been wanting our Q3 ever since he read about it. We went looking everywhere, but there ain't none for sale anywhere. I just wanted my boy to be happy. Fella, I'm begging, begging you. You gotta let me have it, please. I get the picture now. Sorry, but I can't do that. You probably don't know this, but a little kid saved up his allowance and went through a lot of trouble to buy the last copy of this Aracure 3. <gasps> eh? I didn't stick up no little kid. I took it off some worthless goon. Uh. That's right. You got the game from a punk. But that game belonged to a little kid first. Long story short, you took Q 3 from a wannabe punk who took it from a high school bully who took it from the last boy in line who bought it in the first place. <laughs> My head hurts just thinking about it. But alright, so that's what happened. And I came to get it back for the little kid. It's going back to the rightful owner. I'm sorry. Fella, I'm the fool here. Give it back to that kid for me. <sighs> Damn, I was about to make someone else's kid cry for the sake of my own. What kind of monster have I become? I thought I could make my boy happy with something I stole from someone else. I was wrong. How am I supposed to be a good dad to my boy? To Akio like this? Yeah, motherfucker. I guess you'd better think about that. Wait, what? <laughs> we could have literally not got involved and the kid would have still ended up with the game. Son of a bitch. Oh, hi, mister. <laughs> Perfect timing, Akio. I just got your Arrow Q3 back. Oh, really? Yippee! Have you not noticed your dad standing there? Hmm? Huh? Akio, it's you. My Akio. Oh, hi, Papa. Nani. Nani. You guys are related? Uh, that's right. Are you friends with Papa, mister? He just pulled a gun on me, and I beat the shit out of him. So you could say we're acquainted. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you might say that, sure. Wait, buddy, that little kid you were telling me about, that Q 3, that was what Akio bought with his own money. And I tried to... That seems to be how this is shaking out. But why? Akio, why didn't you say anything to your papa? All you had to do was ask. I could have given you the money to buy Q 3 any time. Because Mama always gets mad at you, Papa, for spending money on golfing and go-karts and board games and... I didn't want Mama to get mad at you even more for spending all your money again, Papa. So I tried to buy it myself. Akio. Mister, Papa looks kind of scary, but he's a really, really nice man once you get to know him, so long as he doesn't kill you. He took me to a bunch of game stores just the other day. Papa's not living with Mama and me now. I think he's lonely. So please stay friends with him, okay? Actually, Akio, your Papa helped me get your Arakyu 3 back. Really? Thank you, Papa. That's, that's, that's good of Kitty. I, I did, in a way. <laughs> Akio, I don't want to see you crying again. Be careful going home with your game. Mm. Yup, got it. Thank you, mister. I feel like his dad should go with him. <laughs> if people are out here robbing for this game, you know, maybe let's not just let him run off on his own. Mister, thanks. And if this is a fucking city where people are happy just pulling their guns out and going to work just on the street, like, maybe you shouldn't let your kids go around unsupervised at all, game or not. This is to apologise, or to thank you for teaching this fool a lesson, maybe. Whatever, I want you to have it. You got a sunburst. Hooray. From now on, be a good dad all the time, not just in front of Akio. You don't want to do anything that'll make kids sad, no matter whose kids they are. Yep, you got that right. Papa, this is too hard for me by myself. Let's go to Mama's house and play Q 3 together. I need help with the maps. Okay, good. They are going to go together. Oh. Uh, sure. With my expert advice, we'll be making a beeline to that nasty demon lord in no time. <laughs> now that's how a game should be played. Clappers. Well, that was a good ending. <laughs> I liked the ending of that one. Faux show. All right, let's hit up the save. Bonk. Bonk. Nice. All right. Um. So. 
Uh, it was this one, right? Yeah. Go down the end, turn left. Ping! this right right uh... okay get the note back out what the fuck did I need I need uh, sweet potato shochu scotch and sake do you have any of that uh, you have sweet potato shochu lovely fuck you don't have the rest god damn it Unless this is, I don't, maybe sake has like a different name. Like how beer wasn't called beer. It was called whatever brand I bought. So maybe sake is not called sake, but... Oh wait, this is whiskey. Oh wait, did he... No, he wanted specifically scotch. Right. So that's all this is for, is the sweet potato. Oh, you got a friendship meter? Thank you for shopping with us. Oh no. Hmm? You seem a little tense. Mm. I just started working here, so... Uh. I guess it takes a while to get used to it and learn about all the different products. Well, good luck. Thank you, sir. You're much kinder than you look. Oi. I am. What kind of look do I have then? I'm sorry. <laughs> huh. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Mm. My name is Miho. If you come here often, we'll be seeing each other a lot, so I thought I should introduce myself. Uh. Nice to meet you, Miho. I'm Kiryu. <laughs> <What? laughs> I was like, oh, here we go again. Here's another 30 minute fucking side quest. And then it was done in three lines. This could be the beginning of a friendship with Miho. Interacting with her will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time in the pause menu's completion list. Build your friendship and see what happens. And load. Okay, like, do I, when you say interact with her, do I actually have to buy from her? Or, like, how easy is it to max out a friendship gauge? If I just talk with her again. Hello, Kiyu. I assume I probably do have to buy from her. Um, is there anything I actually want? Not really. Okay, so it did boost the friendship. Hmm. Do I just keep buying stuff? I'm gonna have to use stuff as well <laughs> to clear my inventory. Um. Okay, what happens if I just buy three at once? Does that give me three times the friendship gain, or...? No. <laughs> it does not give three times the friendship gain to do three at once. It's still the same amount. So, I guess let's just grind this and see what happens. It's going to take a little bit. But that's fine. I just want to know what happens when you max out a friendship bar. We are almost halfway. Okay, now we're halfway. Ba -ba -bum. Use 15 medicine items. Clap. Oh, 
Wait, is something happening? Looks like she's got something on her mind. Oi. Something wrong? You look a little out of it. Do I? Really? Uh. Well, yeah. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have let that show. But you're right. Something's been on my mind all day. Wait, is this going to lead into a substory? <laughs> What's that? The head office gave me an assignment of sorts. An assignment, huh? We have lots of competition here from the M store chain and others. Our stores are all very similar, don't you think? Come to think of it, I guess there's not much difference between your stores. That's why the head office asked employees from various branches to come up with ideas that would set Popo stores apart from others. So that's why you were lost in thought, huh? Yes. I don't want to suggest something random that would only grab the customer's attention for five minutes. It has to work in the long term, too. Oh. Silly me. I should ask customers for their opinions. Do you have a few minutes to spare, Kiyu? Nani. Nani. I guess. Hey. Great. So, Kiyu, is there anything you would like our stores to introduce? Let me think. What would I want at a convenience store? Uh, luxury brand goods. So then. What if you introduced luxury brand items? That might get a lot of attention. That would definitely be something you don't see in most stores of this kind, but our customer base isn't exactly the rich elite. Mm. It might draw attention to our stores, but I doubt we'd be able to sell all the stock, and then we'd have a huge loss. Yeah, that's probably true. But you're right about unconventional items catching the eye of customers. I think I might have an idea. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. Glad I helped someone. You did. Thank you so much for your feedback. And we get kicked out again. <laughs> and back in we go. It's me. <laughs> Clap. 50 chats. We love to see it. And we've got to drink it all again. I don't want to, like, I've, obviously I could clear out more space in my inventory, but most of it is the stuff that's a significant health boost I bought, which I don't want to just, you know, waste. <laughs> just to make this slightly faster. You know? You know? We are probably, like, five away from finishing. Oh. Never mind, there's more. I drafted some ideas for your for our head office based on your feedback. They appreciated the input and rewarded this branch with the addition of a new hot snack to our menu. It won't be available anywhere else. Isn't that nice? So then. That's great. Good for you. We're starting to sell this today. Can you guess what it is? Let me give you a hint. It's delicious by itself or with soy sauce or mustard. It's a specialty from the Nagoya area. Goes well with soy sauce or mustard, you say? I don't fucking know. Cutlets. I am... No idea. I think I got it. Is it miso cutlets? I have no idea what miso is. Ah, well, I got it right. Nice. I just guessed based off the cutlets, but sure. <laughs> Bingo. So, starting today, we'll be selling yummy miso cutlets. Yay. <laughs> Can't wait to try one. <laughs> I really like them too. Oh, and the reward for guessing correctly is a brand new miso cutlet lunch set. You got a miso cutlet <laughs> lunch set. Hooray. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Besides, it's thanks to your input that we have these on our menu now. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. You give me too much credit. Besides, look at you. You've become a model employee, and you're excellent at customer service as well. Hmm? You think so? Well, I guess I'm not as nervous around customers anymore. Uh. Not only that, but the head office likes your ideas too. Who knows, you could be the manager of this store soon. <laughs> oh, no way. I have so much more to learn before I can even start thinking about that. But if I am getting better at my job, I have you to thank for, mm. for that. How so? You were so scary looking that I was terrified of you at first, but we managed to become friends over the space of about five minutes. Since then, I don't get jittery around other people anymore. Chatting with customers over the till became so easy. <sighs> Come on, I'm not that scary, am I? <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I hope I can return the favor by making Popo your favorite store. Please keep shopping with us. Befriend Miho. Oh, that was... Right. Okay. That just happens. It just gives you the last bit of the bar as a freebie. Cool. New video clip. 
You can view video clips of gorgeous girls. Uh, I think I'm good. So what happens if I talk to her now that she's maxed out? Does anything change? Or do I get better prices in here or anything? Good to see you again. I know. Thank you for shopping with us. Okay, no. Doesn't look like you get anything from maxing it out. It's just... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that did anything apart from get me the free lunch set or whatever. But, sure. It is a bar that went up. I therefore must max it, you know? <laughs> Alright. So, we still need a couple of convenience store items. Uh, so we're look probably looking for... Okay, there's a convenience store. That's quite far away, but so is basically everything. Okay, let's just go all the way up then. And hopefully we will find the drinks we need. God damn it. I was slightly too slow letting go of the run. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, what do you have? Um... Sake, that was one of them, right? Uh, let me look. Yes, sake was indeed one of them. Fuck, but he doesn't have scotch? Oh my god. Okay, it is just the scotch left. That is all we need. But it's at another fucking convenience store. <laughs> God damn it. They are making you run around this town so much in Chapter 2. I guess it's just so that you will inevitably run into a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of sub-stories to introduce like the idea of sub-stories to the player. But man, it is a lot of fucking running around. Okay, there's one. Convenience store branch. Is that one too? Uh, no, okay. So, we want to go, like, basically all the way down the end, and then, well, no. We go right there, and then we go all the way down the end. Ooh. I'm running, running far. Except not when I don't let go of the button soon enough. Wait, that's Mr. Shakedown. Fuck, no. Fuck no, hang on, hang on. Reverse, reverse. Fuck Mr. Shakedown. All my homies hate Mr. Shakedown. Mr. Shakedown needs to become a low tier god viewer. Uh, so where was it? Was it this one? It was that one. <sighs> What's this place I'm running past? Mahjong. No, thank you. What the fuck? Million yen vending machine? What does it even... Insert one million yen to make your dreams come true. That's a lot of yen. <laughs> but I'm really fucking curious. So fuck it. You paid a million. What the fuck did you just give me? Is 
It's a shit mushroom. It gave me a shit mushroom. Son of a bitch. I wonder if I can use that for anything. Am I going here? No. Can I use that for anything or is that just to like get fucked? I'm gonna put it in storage in case it's actually useful for any fucking thing later on or something. But I'm pretty sure it won't be, and I did in fact just get scammed for a million bucks. Curiosity got the better of me. Right, you piece of shit, you better sell. You better fucking sell. Scotch! Thank you! Fuck! It's over! We've done it! At long last. Uh, right, so back to these chumps. Get out of my fucking way. Get out my way. Alright, chumps, I have brought you your drinks. <laughs> 